Hey everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices in around two minutes. Today I'm going to show you how I set up my lock screen. I have it fully customized with different icons on the bottom. I also moved and changed the way that my camera looks, as well as the display timeout for the lock screen itself. So this way, it's just a little bit longer than five seconds. So how I was able to fully customize it was I went inside of GoodLock, and this is where you go to and download LockStar. Now I know that LockStar, or I should say GoodLock, might not be available for you it is region locked so there's certain locations that good lock is not able to work but if you're able to find the APK of Lockstar this is really all you really need to get to customize the lock screen itself now the first thing I do want to show is on the very bottom I changed my lock screen timeout as mentioned from before because by default it's like five seconds it doesn't take too long at all and sometimes I need to look at the screen just a little bit longer and without even unlocking the phone so I switched it over to 15 seconds now you can go through you can edit the landscape inside of for your lock screen for if you want it to be landscape form but most of the time when I hold my phone especially when I'm unlocking it it's always in portrait so we're only going to take a look at the edit portrait lock screen now this is where you press and hold on your on your clock you can move it and uh, up down left right wherever you want it to go a couple things to take a look at is you know going to be the lock icon and a few other things so I placed it right there it looks actually really good especially with the camera cutout being there this is a really good location for it you can also change location left and right for all of your notifications and then on the very bottom what you can see here is that I also added in these little buttons so what I did with these buttons is this is where you go with items so with the items this is where you want to go through and what you're gonna notice is uh, first off the the whole help text I turned off just because I don't need it to state hey place your finger on the, the fingerprint reader to unlock your phone so I turned that one off and then for the shortcuts this is where you can choose how you want it to look. So you can have your shortcuts completely turned off. Here is the shortcuts by default. And really all I did here was I pressed it one time because I like it on the right hand side and I like it going horizontal. Now, if you want to keep it on the right side, but go vertical, tap it one more time, left side, and then left side one more time. So here we go. I'm going to put it right back up to where it was from before. So shortcuts and here we go. Notifications. I'm going to keep it there. So this is how I created mine here. Now, once you select this option of shortcuts, this is where you tap the screen and then you want to tap on those plus buttons because they should be little plus icons because you haven't set these ones up yet. So once you hit the plus button on really any of them, you choose up to six different shortcuts and then you go through and you hit on apply. Now, if you want to change the look of the clock, so you already changed the position of the clock, this is where you go to the clock itself. So this is where you can go through, figure out how you want it to look. Uh, the one that I used is this one right here. I did actually make it as large as possible because I feel like it looks the best when it's this large, especially at a slant. And then you just move it where you want it to be uh, and you choose your clock option. Now, once this is all done, you can go through wallpaper, but I like to use Samsung wallpaper services. So I didn't touch wallpaper. I just went through the positions the clock and then the items so then this way I can turn off the help text turn on the shortcuts and once you're all done you hit on save and that's basically all you'd have to do to fully customize and use Lockstar. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. I got Famous number one desirable Out of what I want, when I want, and how I want it Leave you with the one in the air, that's how I want it